it's it's amplified enough uh, within a, within a context of uh, well, for example, they want the judges they want the jobs as judges and attorneys. Though they don't have a sense about justice, not actually they don't reflect justice or a sense of justice. Not actually they are, they're a mockery of justice. Okay, and it's amplified enough in that. Uh, while uh, it's like when, when you hurt somebody, you hurt yourself as well. Uh -huh. I mean, it's, it'd be like a guy yelling at a girl, "Be happy!" Okay, for an example, though, like, okay, though he's hurting himself as well. And, and, like he can't have a healthy relationship, not at all. He he can't experience it, not at all. Like he. He went the wrong way. Okay. And it's amplified enough in that, though like at a particular point, it's it's better to actually be conducive to some people in a midst population to actually turning towards the truth. Okay, because amidst the various of them, they're all different people. And various of them will be more strict with any contrast compare of others. Okay? And they'll try and reflect the truth more contextually strictly. Alright? And, and like, it's amplified enough. Like, what's most conducive, actually, is, is that they is that some of them turn towards the truth. Okay? And and that's more conducive uh, So that then, like, amidst the various, like, like you consider, like, calculating things out, like, like okay, I'm not going to get all wrote about all that, not actually, I, and, like, some of that actually is sort of like a, a heightened experience, okay, and realizing, okay, be, be more conducive because you see these things, okay? You can, you can see the, the, and you have a sense about this, okay? And then, like, when, when various of them, because they don't have enough sense to, like, realize the truth for themselves, not at all, all right? If they're going to look around, they need a few others, and then, like some of them need a few others and some and they'll turn whereas most people won't even do that when they see a, a whole bunch of them talking sense and being reasonable not actually all right for a little clue yeah and and that's sort of the that's the sort of thing that that is variably evidenced and like a the consideration of like primordial articulations that's what i would call them primordial articulations um, about uh, deities that reflect the laws and virtues of the ordered cosmoi and all of existence and, and all that, okay? Uh, Uh, all right. Well, well, some of them, some of them would would consider things a little bit more contextually, strictly, within a contrast pair of others. Okay, it's like okay, so there are these articulations, though it's like they're talking about virtues and laws. Okay, so, um, so if somebody says that that. They had sex with some deity's wife. 
and they're of the lineage, or they're of the lineage of that deity. It's like, um, okay, for for what that means to various people, you you, you simply, yeah, you you say that, okay. Uh, all right. While various others would realize it, um, okay, well, if you're thinking about consistency within a consideration of these things, well, they're primordial articulations, okay, these, these things actually are uh, virtuous, actually, uh, reasonable, uh, they're right principles. Okay. Uh, thinking about things, yeah. All right. While they're sort of really some artic some archaic articulations about some of those things. It's like I'm surprised they said all of that reasonable amidst those people way back then. I mean, that was a long time ago. Quite a long time ago. I mean, okay, in the grand history of, of humanity, maybe it wasn't that much time. Uh, actually, maybe it wasn't that long ago. Uh, actually, it was sort of quite a long time ago. Though, I mean, like, okay, well, how many generations of, of humans would that be? 20? It's not that long. Uh, actually, 30, maybe? 30 in its ancient history? Huh. Kids and kids and kids, and grandparents, great grandparents, and so forth. And Thirty, and that's that's not that long, actually. Uh. So, yeah, I mean. Uh, It's important to uh, to avoid the cost of detriment. If you if you can if you actually can see a few things for yourselves at this point, yeah. I mean, it's important to avoid uh, the the uh, the cost of the cost of detriment. What do you mean by that? Well, okay, you hurt yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you'll damage your sense of, of realizing much of anything. If you hurt yourself too much, you hurt other people, yeah, it hurts you real bad. Real bad. Though it's more conducive to actually be less candid in the context that some people can turn towards the truth. Okay, even if they can only rationalize it, that it's that's that's true though. That's more right. That's more conditionally true. Even if they can only they can just merely rationalize it, and and they have a bunch of scar tissue because um, uh, maybe they maybe they incited their own condemnations a condemnation of their people maybe yeah and then they can't really experience it well, actually it's like okay well he's a skilled attorney he's a goddamn moron Okay, and nobody else realized it, not actually. Does he take pro bono cases and he laughs? <laughs> 
So, I mean, at a particular point, yeah, I mean, uh, it gets to the point where, like, wow. So, I, I'm being really serious. I, I'm hopeful that was, like, about as about candid enough. It gave me a sense, like, yeah, I'm, I'm not trying to hurt them when, when they're at that hypothetical turning point. They can finally turn back to the truth. Okay? And take a good look. Take a good, honest look. Alright? Tribals rule this Mayan continent, matter of fact. 